Hi guys, Rich from Smart. welcome back to another YouTube video. So we're down in Devon in Salcombe with the boys from K-Tech Electrical Solutions uh, and a site by Lil Ben Elliot Construction. Now, I'm not just saying this because they're probably just a little bit out of here, shortly to see this on YouTube. This is genuinely probably one of the best projects I've seen. So in terms of the way that the builder adopts the technology, works with us instead of against us, the things that they've done for the in-wall bat boxes have been fantastic. The fact that they've got side doggos as well makes this whole site 10 times better. There's two of them, Waffles just in the dog, in the van here. Um, but yeah, the project's fantastic. This is actually a client's holiday home. He's got a couple down here in Devon. Um, but this one, the spec on it, you can probably even just tell from the exterior here, um, all these windows are actually bronze. Um, but yeah, the spec inside the house is absolutely off the charts. As well as being in a beautiful location, I'm sure I was going to show you a little bit of drone footage, but yeah, house is incredible. I'm not going to give you the full set walkthrough today. We're just going to give you a little walk through the job, come down for a site meet with the k -Tech boys and drop them off some more second fix materials. But yeah, let's get in and have a look around. Welcome to the rack room. We've got all of the connections. 48 front ports, which will be going in there. Our video distribution is going down here. All of these here are our motion sensors. So we've got a hell of a lot of motion sensors going in on this project. We've got the heating system, well, part of the heating system. This house actually has uh, heated ceilings. Aztec Therm heating system here, which is basically, like I say, yeah, heating ceilings. So we've got the air probes and the heating starting here, which then heat this control unit up. And then you've got four mil tri rail singles that then go into the rooms. Rainbow spaghetti coming in, and then two of our future automation lighting panels. This one here actually has a couple of DMX modules in, which you can see we've got all our five cars here. A lot more five cars upstairs. Lighting panel, lighting panel, and then the fuse box, double stack distribution board here for the electrics. All switched off though. Of course, we've got storm glands in, and all the 50 mil bushes connecting equipment up, our 50 mil bushes and lock rings. But yeah, so that's that's all these bits down here. And it is it's a big system, um quite costly system, uh, and it's quite all they own. But it is uh, the engineering behind it all as you can see on here, and the work done by the KTEC boys is absolutely second to none. So if we go into this bedroom, this is actually on the basement level is, is the bedroom. You can tell by the Ectowick Sono furniture in yet. Obviously we've got the video distribution in just over here. Ceiling speakers planned for here. We've got all lunar lights everywhere. Five amps next to the bed, socking next to the bed. Um, lighting keypad next to the bed. And if you sphere on this side as well, we've also got for the keypads here. You can actually see how clean and square these is. I mean, this has lining paper on it now. But the socket outlets and all the switch outlets, I mean, look down here. Look at these outlets here, how crisp and square they are. And that's because we've used Beadmaster, which was originally PC products. Good friend Pete Carter um, actually invented these. We've also got on these bedrooms down here. Electric blinds wired in here. We're socking some five amps down there. And of course, the TV back box with all the TV cables behind here. Power cables. This is actually the cinema room. We've got all our surrounds, rear channels, and then we've got our projector and projector power supply here. Um, this job is actually having in one of the new Sony projectors. Screen wall is going to be on the front wall there. And the interior design, we've got the Q6 behind the wall, but then the interior design is taking care of everything else. Just same as everything else in this house. Really good job. The builders on this job, Lil Bernelia, fantastic job. I can't speak highly enough of those guys. What can I say? I cannot wait to come back for a second fix. <laughs> So this, this is the ground floor uh, plan location. So we're just in the basement before. There's nothing up on the top floor. This ground floor one covers the ground floor and then the first floor. So we've got the lighting panel locations, our future automation pre-wired panel, 
all the lighting going in here. We've actually already added an additional nine lighting modules onto this house, as interior design it keeps adding lots and lots of lighting. Uh, we're actually going to add an additional one in, and that's because the LED has changed. We have 26 circuits of LED, which will probably switch on a 24 child DMX module. However, that'll be fine. It's now all changed to RGBW. So if we do 26, we'll just do 24, we'll do 25 <laughs> times by four for the RGBW channel. That's now 100 circuits. So we're going to put in another five uh, way of future automation lighting panels to the side here. All the trunking work in here. Another fuse box here for all the electrics. And again, KTEC boys have done a fantastic job. So on the entrance hall over here, we've actually got a lamp key pad just sitting out of the way over there. Over here, the reason it's sitting out of the way is because we don't actually need it. So we've got a lighting keypad here as we come in, all labeled nice. So this is the ground floor buzz one out, keypad 20, and that's going to keypad 21. So even the keypad buzz is labeled, great for fault finding identification. This on here, B02, is the touch screen. So we've got a touch screen, we've got an intercom, keypad, and then just over here, we've got a chime. So we're going to have the Chime video doorbell on here. And then further up at the gate, we're going to have a DS2 intercom. So a DS2 intercom up at the gate and the Chime here. Four touch screen, five touch screens throughout the house. And then obviously going to the client's devices if he's not at the home. This home is absolutely teched up. It's going to be fantastic. Mm -hmm.